Now that we've created our new Profiles API app, let's enable it in the Django project settings file. In any Django project, there's gonna be two directories with the project name. So the first is the root directory, which is this one here, the profiles project in our case. And inside that, you're gonna have another directory that is the same name as the project. So it's got the profiles project and under here we have another one called profiles project. This is where the Django settings file live. So the settings file is a file that contains settings for the entire Django project. So it's not specific to any particular app that we're gonna be using. It's actually the settings for the entire project. Load up the settings file and you can close these welcome tabs if they're still open. And inside the settings file, if you scroll down a bit, you're gonna see this block here called the installed apps. So this is a Python list of strings which list out the different installed apps in our project. So these ones are the ones that come with Django by default. We're gonna leave all of them and we're gonna add our, we're gonna enable the REST framework. So the Django REST framework, which we installed in our requirements file. We need to tell Django that we wanna use the Django REST framework to build our project. The way you do that is you add a new row here underneath this django.contrib.static files open up the single speech mark and type rest underscore framework. Okay, and then put a comma at the end of that line. And under that, we're gonna enable another app, which is an optional feature of the rest framework called the auth token. So the way you do that is you type rest underscore framework auth token. Okay, so now that we've added the REST framework and the REST framework auth token features, let's finally add our Profiles API app. So create a new speech mark and type Profiles API. So there we go. This is how you enable apps in your Django project. So if you ever later on down the line wanna add a new app or you wanna use a new third party app, and you need to install it or create it if you're gonna make it yourself and you need to make sure that it's added to this installed apps list. If it's not added to the list, then it won't get picked up by Django and you won't be able to use it in the project. And I've spent many hours trying to figure out why my app's not working and it was all because of I, I'd forgotten to put it in the installed apps. So remember, if you ever wanna add any extra Django app to the project, you need to add it to the installed apps. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.